Welcome to beautiful Nevada, Texas. We're here at the Ray Olinger Power Station. I'm Tony Coburn, the plant administrator here at the station, which is, by the way, 400 megawatts, approximately 400 megawatts. It consists of four power generating units, Olinger 1, which was installed in 1967, Olinger 2, which was installed in 1971, and Olinger 3, which was installed in 1975. And our newest unit, our baby, uh, Olinger 4, was actually installed in 2001. Olingers 1, 2, and 3, which are the oldest units, are what we call conventional fire generation units. In other words, we take water out of our Lake Levon here and we boil it to steam. We boil it to a uh, temperature of 1,000 degrees to almost 2,000 pounds of pressure. We run that steam through a, uh, a steam turbine which in turn turns a generator, and that's how we get electricity out of Olingers 1, 2, and 3. Olinger 4, which is a little bit different, is a, what we call a gas turbine, and in, for, in simplistic terms, it's just a uh, basically a jet engine with a generator on the back end, and it alone generates, again, 75 megawatts. So with that being said, we'll take a tour of our plant. Okay, this, this here is our auxiliary room. This is where all our auxiliary equipment is located. As, you, as I mentioned before, our older units, Olingers 1, Olinger 2, and Olinger 3 are conventional fired boilers. In other words, again, we boil the water out of the lake to 1,000 degrees F to 2,000 pounds of pressure in our boilers. Well, this right here is an example of our boiler feed pump. We take that water from the lake that's been treated, and then we pressurize it inside this, bo this boiler feed pump here and send it to the boiler, where it's heated up to 1,000 degrees F. These are what we call heaters. This aid in our efficiency. In other words, this helps us not have to burn as much natural gas to heat the water up to 1,000 degrees F. It works by taking some of the steam off the steam turbine and heating up the intake water to the boiler. So we gain some efficiency with that. And the most important piece of equipment in, in this conventional fire setup, if you can see, is what we call the condenser. What the condenser does, it takes the steam, cools it off, and turns it back into water, and thus we start the cycle over again. Now we're on what we call the turbine deck. We call it the turbine deck because right behind me is one of our turbines. This, by the way, is Olinger 1. What you're seeing here are the shells for our turbine, okay? And from time to time, we have to take the shell off and take the uh, respective casing off as well and do maintenance on these turbines. The turbine looks just like a fan wheel, and that's where the steam goes through and turns this, which is the actual generator. This is what supplies the electricity to all of our customers. So again, this unit is rated for 78 megawatts. This is Olinger 1. As you can see down the, down the hall here, you got Olinger 2, and then Olinger 3 is all the way at the end. So 78 megawatts, 107 megawatts, and all the way at the end is 138 megawatts. Okay, now we've made ourselves into the actual control room. This is actually the brains of the outfit. Um, we have our production technician, Rodney Dale, and one of our operations supervisors, Harvey De La Garza. Right now we're taking, taking a look at some of our critical operating parameters on Unit 2. We control everything at this plant from this room. So again, this is more or less the headquarters for Plant Olinger. Okay, as you see, we have the transmission lines, which we call the high tension lines. These are 138. 1,000 volts or 138 kV lines. This is how we connect our generators to the rest of the world, or in this case with the city of Garland. That's what we called our point of interconnection. So all our units, all four of our units, Olingers 1, 2, 3, and 4 generators connect via this grid out to the rest of the world. Okay, right now, currently, we're standing in front of Olinger 4. This is the smallest of our units. It's also the newest of our units. This is rated at 75 megawatts. Again, it's basically, in simplistic terms, it's a, gat, it's a jet engine with a generator on the back end. It operates the same way as a jet engine. You pull in air, you compress the air, you mix it with, uh, in this case, natural gas, you ignite that mixture, and it turns a fan wheel. 
And that's how a jet engine actually works. Only with us, we have a generator on the back end that produces 75 megawatts of electrical power. This is also the newest unit that we have. All the other units were installed by the mid 70s. This unit was installed in 2001 and it's been in service in 2001. Another unique feature about this unit, this happens to be our quick start unit. This unit can get up to full capacity in 30 minutes. Whereas the other units, it takes oftentimes from a cold start to 16 hours to get these units up to full load. Whereas with the gas turbine, you're talking about 30 minutes. So that's one of the advantages of having a gas turbine. Quick start response. Right now, we're inside the water treatment plant. Here at the water treatment plant, what we do is we remove all the impurities out of the water before we run it into our boiler where we turn it into steam. We want to do that because if we put raw water into our boilers, that would lead to corrosion of the boiler and to the steam turbine. So the way we do go about doing that, or one way we go about doing that, is utilizing our RO units, our reverse osmosis units. The way these units work, you run water, you pressurize the water, and push it through membranes, and those membranes remove all your inorganic solids, thereby purifying the water. Well, that concludes our virtual tour of the plant Rayolinger power station. Um, on behalf of GPNL Production, we'd like to extend our thanks to you for joining us on this tour.